What's up, gamers? Your boy Beast, the game of Kuma, here with my unorthodox review of the first Ascendant, which became available not too long ago. Came out for quite well. I want to say, was it last week? I want to say it was before Fourth of July. So yeah, last week I got thirty-two hours into the game. So I want to share my thoughts. I like it. I like it a lot. I enjoy the grind, and as of right now, I'm enjoying the patience of the grind, even though. I had to do a test to see what was what. What can I get by getting caliber? And honestly, I think I've or I've supported the game straight up for the amount of money I spent that one time. But before I get into that, please hit that notification bell. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We're still up there, 1444. Trying to get the 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, get my numbers up and all that stuff. But I hope you're enjoying the videos. Got some good videos out there, but let's get into this. So, the first ascendant, what's it about? So, <laughs> honestly, all I get from the story is that you are trying to get this special item, a heart, which imbues power. Of course, the, it's a pretty much cut copy and paste storyline of. Bad guy wants a special item that makes everybody else more powerful. And then you get a special entity that's like your messiah in a way to help you guide you through all this to stop the evil from becoming too evil. And so you can be a hero and save the rest of what's left of humanity in whatever sense that you want to make of that. But yeah, you get to start off with three different characters. You got my boy Ajax, who I picked because I'm a tank character. And yes, as like in Destiny, I picked the Titan character. Ajax is pretty cool. He is definitely your support tank. He will bring up a bump. He will bring up a wall. He will stomp the yard. He will tell people to back the hell up off me with a breathe attack that just makes everybody go blast away. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I sound like a weird preacher, man. But anyway, so as you're going through, you're trying to stop these bad people, Corel mainly, from getting these special items and of course there's going to be oppositions different enemies which i have to say enemy designs are not bad and the game doesn't feel as bullet spongy as other looter shooters but this is a successor to many other titles well we got warfare we got destiny of course i can't think of any other looter shooters out there but in that premise of you know being kind of godlike being that savior and I do like the Monster Hunter style elements of it with the Colossi that you have to fight in these boss fights. Speaking of which, I took on the Dead Bride recently and at first, it was a pain. But again, with the great community of Keep It Kawaii, awesome lady, definitely check her streams out. Good people in there sharing tips. Now, the one thing that I do emphasize to people, don't let nobody really carry you through something because it kind of takes the fun out of the situation yes i know i have my boy damien carrying me through Elden ring but the difference is that and i know i'm gonna get a lot of flack for this it's not really for me now they added the um a certain equipment item to it that makes me more interested but honestly i was only in it for the co-op ability but this game is definitely my coup de grace my creme de la creme because you could be a badass and going in, and I like running into randoms in the game, helping them out on whatever mission you can. You can join whatever mission is very public, open, going in, dropping out, especially the public boss fights. But there is a serious grind, but the grind don't really feel that bad because you just got to expect to do so. Hence why these developers say they got a lot of replay value when the grind is real. You can definitely, this is the evolution of the gotcha mechanics and the looter shooters of games. I want to thank Genshin Impact for that because they kind of changed the whole gotcha mechanic where you can actually play the game for free completely if you wish, but you're going to have to really work for it. That earn, if you want to play to earn, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to play to earn. And there's different percentage drops out there, but some people, I get it, you can't handle the grind sometimes and you just buckle down and go into the shop. And that's where the ducats really come in. I'm not going to lie. I got caliber and I just said, you know what? I spend X amount of money on a video game. So I brought the $50 caliber one. Eh, figured I'd do that. 
But then I wanted to see the catalyst and everything like that. So I spent another 20, so I spent $70. Spent $70 on this game to get caliber to do whatever, get special armor so I can do my colors. And keep in mind, the thing that does annoy me that's bad that the color swapping is a one time use. So whatever color you use on your character, your descendant, it's gone. You got to keep on rebuying them, which cost about 25 caliber each. I didn't see no difference between those, but yeah, that's. Ugh. But again, it's free to play. It's not like they didn't tell you this from the get go. You got to expect some weird cost. So, whatever color you pick, you better stick to that color. And you better love that color. I mean, you can earn other different additional colors on Battle Pass, but I, again, one time use. One time. I hope they change that later on, like Destiny did, because Destiny also had that weird mechanic. But yeah, one time use for colors, which yeah, it, it is what it is. But honestly, the grind is pretty awesome. The storyline gets kind of deep, especially with a certain antagonist, but I'm not going to spoil anything. It's still too soon to spoil anything in this game. I say the name Jeremy, you already know what I'm talking about. But yeah, honestly, real talk, 39 hours into it, and I still didn't beat the game. So I'm just talking about what I've done so far in 30, sorry, 32 hours. I said 39. My bad, I'm trying to jump to 40. No, 32 hours. But that's because I was also going around helping other people, especially uh, some of my friends that started playing it, and I was just, you know, there for backup. Just in case, because some of them are not just like some of them feel like this is their first time playing a free to play game, so they just need a little hand holding. I'm not gonna hold a hand too much now because I want them to actually experience accomplishment. And the trophy system is not so bad in this game. I got 20 out of 25 so far, so I'm almost done with that. About to get that platinum, which is pretty cool. So it's not that much of a challenging game, which is fine. You don't need it, you know, it's, it's just keep it about the game, and I love it. The game is pretty awesome, it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it so far. People are going to talk about how it's copying this, that, and the other, but so is this, that, and the other doing the same thing that every no, nobody really has an original idea. All you can do is just improve on it just a bit. If you want me an original idea, I'll give you a cookie. But <laughs> only thing that you can do is just improve on things. But yeah, the first ascendant is out right now. I'm giving it four out of five beastly paws because, like I said, certain of the loot. Caliber cost is pretty up there. I feel like, to me, honestly, marketing-wise, I feel like you can make more money at a cheaper cost, especially when it comes to vanities. I still don't feel like vanities should be that expensive. I mean, getting an ultimate costume for a character is 5,000 caliber. That's almost $100. Just for a costume, that's crazy when you think about it. But even the grind for that, I think the easiest one is Bunny. It'll take you three hours to get all the ingredients to make a costume, but it's worth it just to grind it. Seriously, save your money. Don't. I mean, again, throughout the line, you can support, pay whatever, blah, 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 but $100 for it. Woo! Costume, this what a sexiness. Yeah, there's a lot of fan service in the first ascendant, believe it or not. It's <laughs> the moment I pop into Albion, it's just booty everywhere. I feel like I'm at the Playboy Mansion, but Hugh Hefton is not saying hello to me. It's just booty everywhere. Other than that, yo, let me hear your thoughts if you're playing the first ascendant right now. Let me hear how you feel, how you feel about the hard mode after you beat the game. How do you feel about the grind? Let's discuss. Comment below. Let me know, and we can get into this. And also, if you want to add me, I'll put my ID in the bottom area. Other than that, my favorite weapon is a tamer. Real talk. Right now, the tamer is my go-to. But yeah. Other than that, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. Peace out.